Okay, guys. So right now I'm going to review uh, annuity funds for Sergeant's Benevolent Association, which is with John Hancock. And uh, just give me a second. I got to share the screen. Okay. So there we go. All right. So in order for you to switch the funds in John Hancock, when you log in, this is where you're going to be. You're going to click on manage investment changes. Yep, I don't think it's, uh, I think it's working. Okay, manage investment changes. Okay, and you're going to get to the next screen. All of the sergeants, when they get promoted after six months, they get this. But the thing is, the funds usually get placed with SBA core fund. And I'm going to show you what's available also that it may have a better return. So again, this is my own research. Please do your own due diligence and do your own research. But take a look at this. So you have 100% in SBA core fund. The average returns on this fund is 6.36% over the 10 years. I don't look at the yearly. I don't look at two years, three years. I like to look at the longest history available. And this is what's in there. This is where the fund invests, all right? So um, what I also look for, I look for expense ratios and so on. But uh, you can do a very good research on uh, once you click on those funds. So the best funds in here are MFS Growth Fund. If you click on it, you will see that the average return 1281, that's basically doubling what you have. And this one invests into top 10, the top 10 holdings here, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google, Alphabet, that's Google, MasterCard. So all largest companies. So your return here possibly will be much better. And even though the expense ratio is a little more, you're getting also much better funds. Okay. Now, the next one is the growth fund of america which is also good or hartford core equity if you click on this one you see this one is 12.2 and also solid names and if you click on the growth fund of america also pretty nice fund also you have uh, well recognized companies now the one that i strongly recommend for someone who is younger and who has still years to go is this one right here but you have to be very careful because this is all technology. So uh, last year, in one year return, was twenty negative 26%. Before that, the fund was over 20% average return. But now it's a 15, even with that double uh, digit negative. So this is all invested into technology. And if you're not afraid of the risk, this is definitely a good fund to have money in. But... Um, for those of you that not into risky stuff, I would just go MFS Growth Fund, either Hartford or the Growth Fund of America, and just split evenly. All right. So in this case, I'll split uh, evenly, and I will add a little bit into technology. I will put 10% in here. Okay. And then I'll do the MFS Growth Fund. So this is the best one in there. So I'll do 30 actually let's do 40 on this one so that will be 50 with that and then we'll do 25 and 25 into this one or you can do just 50 50 but for this person i'm doing uh, this structure okay but you can also do 50 here 50 hartford or 50 here and 50 growth fund of america or you can do more into zero global technology okay then you click on this next no thanks then you're going to click on oh well, the system is a little slow okay so just make sure this is what you got okay i understand submit and you should get a confirmation number on the next screen saying that it was done and once we get that confirmation number we're good to go you see this is the confirmation number all right guys um and thank you for the sergeant who volunteered his username so I can do this for you. But uh, if you have any questions, you know how to find me.